Okay, how, how are you, my dear students? Have a good day, everyone. So it's been a quite um, long break, no, from the midterm exam. So I think, um, I'm going rest na tanan. So here I am, I'm back again, no. We're going to continue our lesson for the semi-final and final coverage. So... I know I are now ready because Murat nakapahulay no naka rest for a quite long week no for more than one week. So this is our first topic for the semi final. What's all about the sequences and series? So in this chapter or in this topic, um, we're going to find terms of sequences given the general or the end term. And of course, you're going to convert between sigma notation and other notation for a series. So, let us have first the sequences. A sequence is a function. So, consider this one, an infinite sequence is a function. So, we have here an example, a set of numbers a sequence one two three four five and so on and so forth so infinity infinite sequence we do not know where to end and we have also here a finite sequence meaning we have here a finite sequence is a function so we have here an end term so example a function a finite sequence one two three four five and so on and so forth up to n for some positive integer n so if n is 10 so your sequence would be up to 10 no so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so whatever is your n that will be the end of the sequence so that's a finite sequence then we have here the sequence formulas in a formula the function values are known as terms of the sequence so the first term in a sequence is denoted by a1 or a sub 1. So that is the first term. The, the third term as a3. Of course, the second term is a sub 2. And the nth term or the general term as denoted by a sub n. So we'll have the example of a sequence. First example, find the four, first four terms and the ninth term of the sequence whose general term is given by a sub n is equal to 4 times the quantity negative 2 to the power of n. So we're going to find the first four terms and the ninth term. So we're going to replace n from 1 up to 4 and also we're going to a sub 9. So we have here our solution. Look at, we have given the general term a sub n is equal to 4 times negative 2 to the power of n. So we, so we have here a sub n is equal to, this is the given general term. So find the first four terms. So we're going to find a1, a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 3, and a sub 4. So the first term. We have here a1 is equal to 4 times negative 2 to the power. So since our first term is denoted by a1, of course, n is 1. So that's equal to negative 8. No, you're going to raise here negative 2 to the power of 1, that's negative 2. Times 4, that's negative 8. The second term, which is denoted by a sub 2, so it's equal to 4 times negative 2 to the power of 2. So simplify this one. This is negative 2 to the power 2, that's 4 times 4, 16, and so on. And of course, we're asked to find the 9th term. We, ha we have here the a sub 9 is equal to 4 times negative 2 to the power of 9. Whatever is n, we have also, that will be also the number that will be written here, because this is n. So simplify it to negative 2 to the power of 9 times 4, that's negative 2048. So we have here the answer, the first four term of the sequence, negative 8, 16, negative 32, 64, and so on. And of course, the, we are asked to find the ninth term. So the ninth term of the sequence is negative 2048. 
So that's the answer for the first example. So this is your drill one. This is your assignment. So I will write this one on a separate sheet. No? So write the first five elements given the general term. Okay. Next, we have here the sigma notation. This is the symbol no, for the sigma. This is a Greek letter, the capital letter of sigma. It can be used to simplify notation when the general term of a sequence is a formula. For example, the sum of the first three terms of the sequence, 1 half, 2 plus 2 plus 9 over 2, and so on and so forth, up to 1 half k squared, can be named as follows using the sigma notation or summation notation. So we have here summation of 1 half k squared where k is equal to 1 up to 3. So this one, this is the subscript, the lower script, and this is the upper script. Uh, so you just uh, replace k starting from 1 up to 3. This is the lower limit, and this is also the upper limit, not the subscript and the upper script. So you're starting replacing your k, your variable k, from 1 up to 3. Suppose this is 1. Start replacing 1. So 1 to the power of 2. 1 times 1 is 1. Times 1 half, that's 1 half. 1 is 1 half. Next. Um, next of 1 is 2. So replace this one by 2. So 2 squared, that's 4. Times 1, 4. Divide 2. 1 ang 2. Ani. Next. 3. No? Replace k by 3. So this one, this is 3 squared. So 3 to the power of 3. I know, 3 to the power of 2, that's 9. Times 1, 9 over 2. Muna siyang 9. And so on. So the general term for that is 1 half k squared. Summation of 1 half k squared. Summation of 1 half k squared where k is starting from 1 up to 3. Kung kanilang. If you're going to continue, so you um, continue this one, replace this one by 4, 5, 6, 7, and so on, and so forth. Okay? So, sigma notation, this one, summation of 1 half k squared, where k is equal to 1 up to 3. This is read as, or the sum, as k goes from 1 to 3 of 1 half k squared. So, the letter k is called the index of summation. And the index of summation might be a number other than 1. And a letter other than k can be used. K. So again, this one, this um, variable is, is called the index of summation. No? So the index of summation might be a number other than 1. No? And it could be other letters. No? Di lang kay k, it could be n. It could be m, any variable. So in this case, we use a letter k. Okay, example. Example 2. Find the sum of the summation of negative 1 to the power of k times 3 to the power of k, where k starting from 2 up to 4. So our we will replace k starts from 2, paingon sa 4. So, this is our solution. No? It starts for our k, as I've said, 2 pi on sa 4. So, we have here, if k is equal to 2, replace this one and k. So, negative 1 to the power of 2 times 3 to the power of 2. Plus, replace k equal to 3. So, negative 1 to the power of 3 times 3 to the power of 3. Plus, k is equal to 4, so negative 1 to the power of 4 times 3 to the power of 4. So simplify, kani? 3 squared is 9, negative 1 to the power of 2 is positive 1, so 9 times negative, positive 1 is 9. This one, 3 cubed, that's 27 times, kani? Negative 1 to the power of 3 is negative 1, so negative 1 times 27 is negative 27. And here, the last term, 3 to the power of 4, that's 81. Negative 1 to the power of 4, positive 1. 
So, positive 1 times 81 is positive 81. So, of course, get the sum of that. So, the final answer is 63. So, the sum of this term, summation of negative 1 to the power of k times 3 to the power of k, where k starts from 2 up to 4, the answer is 63. Okay. Another example. Find the sum, sequence, or this notation, summation of 5i minus 2, where i starts from 4 up to 8. So, C, uh, we have here a variable i. So, of course, that's uh, also in, it could be k, or it could be i, it could be any letters no, in the alphabet. So, start replacing i from 4 up to so we have here the resolution. So 5 times 4 minus 2. So that's the first. Plus 5 times 5 minus 2. Plus 5 times 6 minus 2. Plus 5 times 7 minus 2. Plus 5 times 8 minus 2. The upper script or the upper limit is 8. So the other sa 8. 5 times 8 minus 2. So, simply 5, 5 times 4 minus 2 is 18. 5 times 5 minus 2 is 23. 5 times 6 minus 2 is 28. 5 times 7 minus 2 is 33. 5 times, and so on. So, get the sum. The total is 140. So, as simple as that. Okay? So, this is your second assignment. Drill number 2. Find the sum of this notation. Summation of i plus 1 squared, where i is equal to 1 up to 7. So, this is the lower limit starting from 1 up to 7. Okay, so this is the continuation of our topic for the semifinal. Okay, the second one is the arithmetic sequence and series. So, we have here sequences and summation. A sequence is an ordered list. Possibly infinite of elements. So, ordered, no? When we say sequence, so it is an ordered list. So, so, node. So, we're going to use the notation. A1 for the first term. A sub 2 for the second term. A sub 3 for the third term. And so on and so forth. So, the three dots here, it means continuous na ang sequence. We also refer to the elements of a sequence as terms. And if a sub k is a term, then k is its index or the subscript. Arithmetic sequences and series. So, we'll have the definition of arithmetic sequence. Sequence whose consecutive terms have a common difference. So, please take note of this, no? Arithmetic sequence or series. So, sequence, it could be also a series, no? Arithmetic sequence is sequence whose consecutive terms have common difference. Timan ina ang. Let us have example. A sequence 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13. So please um, take note. No, please um, consider this sequence. Evaluate if there is a common difference. 3 is the first term, second term is 5, third term 7, and so on. Do they have a common difference? If yes, then you're correct. So the terms have a common difference of 2. No? 3 of 5, nasa difference ng 2. 5 of 7, nasa difference ng 2. 7 and 9, lang difference is 2. So they have a common difference. So this is an arithmetic sequence. The common difference is denoted by a letter D, no, a number D. Another example. Is the sequence arithmetic? Consider this one. Please evaluate kung arithmetic sequence pa siya. So, what we're going to do, you determine if there is a common difference in any, in, um, in the sequence, no? In the order of the number. So, negative 45, negative 30, negative 15, 0, 15, 30. 
Is there common difference? Yes or no? Okay, that's correct. Yes. And what is the common difference? The common difference is 15. Negative 45 or negative 30, long difference is positive 15. Negative 30 and negative 15, difference lie is positive 15. And so on. So that's an arithmetic sequence. Next, how will you find any term in this sequence? Example, this is the first term, no? Second term, 13. Negative third term, fourth term, 15, 30. What if you are asked, what is the hundredth term of the sequence? So it's very tedious if we're going to write all the numbers no, in a sequence. So to have a shortcut, we're going to use this formula. To find any term in an arithmetic sequence, we're going to use the formula a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. Where d, of course, is the common difference. And n, of course, that is the term that we're going to find, that we're, at, we're about to ask, no? Kung unsa siya nga term, kung 10 term, so this would be 10. Kung 100 term, that would be 100. Okay, it could be any positive integer. Okay, let us have example. If the common difference is 4 and the first and the fifth term, I mean, um, and the fifth term is 5, what is the 10th term of an arithmetic sequence? So given ang D, no? And we have also the fifth term. So we're about, we're uh, asked, we're about to ask what is the 10th term of the arithmetic sequence? So, we're going to use this formula. A n is equal to A1 plus n minus 1 times D. So, we need to determine what is the first term. No? Here. At usan na siyang paitaon. Kaya ang given is only ang D and the fifth term. We do not know what is the first term. So, we'll, do, we'll find first the first term of an, an arithmetic sequence. So, as I've said, D is 4 and the fifth term given is 15. So, maka-help na to find the first term. So, let us have first this one. A5 because given ang fifth term is equal to A1 plus, why is it 5? Because this is 5, they were A sub 5. 5 minus 1 times ang difference is 4. So, magamit na to na to find the first term. So, substitute ang A5 or the fifth term is 15. Copy a sub 1 plus, why is it 16? Because 5 minus 1 is 4 times 4, that's 16. Then, of course, the first term is negative 1, no? Um, this one on the other side, so this will be negative 16. So, 15 minus 16 is negative 1. So, the first term is negative 1. So, we are now ready to find the ten term because... This is our task. Now, we're going to find the 10th term of an, an arithmetic sequence. So, go back to the formula. To find the 10th term, so we have here a sub 10 is equal to nanatay a sub 1, which is negative 1, plus 10 minus 1 times 4. Simplify. So, 10 minus 1 is 9. 9 times 4, 36 minus 1, that's 35. So, the 10th term of an arithmetic arithmetic sequence whose difference is 4 and the fifth term is 15 the tenth term is 35 so that's the answer so murag symbol ra no okay another example example 5 find the 30th element of the arithmetic sequence for which the first element is 5 and the second element is 9 Okay, this is 9. Please correct. So, we're about to ask the 30th element. So, let A30 be the 30th of the arithmetic sequence. So, we have here arithmetic sequence. The first element given is 5. The second is 9. And so on. Taman sa A sub 30, the 30th element. Given d is equal to 4. Why is it d is equal to 4? Because given ang first and second element. 
So we know the difference of this is 4. No? Yang difference ana is 4. So A1 is 5, the first element. And N is 30. Munang atong paitao. The 30th element. So, go back to sa atong formula, AN is equal to A1 plus N minus 1 times D, substitute AN, that's A30, muna atong task to find the 30th element. Then, A1 is 5 plus 30 minus 1 times D, which is 4. So, the 30th element of the arithmetic sequence is 121. So, if wala kay lingaw, if you want to verify if this is true, you continue this sequence. 5, 9, what do you think is the third? We know the difference is 4, so expect that the next number is 13. Next, after 13, 17. So try to verify ang ika 30, tinood pag yun nga 121. So if wala lingaw, you do that one in your notebook. Okay, next example. Example 6. Find the first element of an arithmetic sequence whose common difference is negative 5 and whose eighth element is negative 21. So, uh, in this example, we are asked to find the first element given ang D negative 5 and the eighth element is negative 21. So, given ang D, negative 5, then ang N is 18, no? So, we have here, go back to sa formula. Mumugin ito magamit. So, A18 is equal to A1 plus N minus 1 times D. Given man ang 18th element, which is negative 21. Then, A1 is unknown. Then, substitute N man ni, 18. 18 man niya, A sub 18. So, this is 18 minus 1. Then, ang difference is negative 5. Okay, simplify. Negative 21, copy. E1. So, 18 minus 1 is how much? 17 times negative 5. That's negative 85. Transpose on the other side. Negative 21 plus 85. So, the first element of an, an arithmetic sequence is positive 64. So, as simple as that, simple algebra, no? Transpose lang, simplify, multiply, minus, and so on. Okay, that's the answer. So, the first element of this example is 64. Next, another example. Find the first five elements whose first element or A1 is 5 and the common difference is 3. Pangitaw na to ang first five elements. So, we have here our solution, A1 plus 5 times n minus 1, so 1 mana, so 1 minus 1 times 3, so the first element is 5. Second element, so equal to 5 plus 2 minus 1 times 3 is equal to 8, and so on taman sa 5. Hence, the first 5 elements of the arithmetic sequence is 5, 8, 11, 14, 17. So, that's the first 5 element whose first element is 5 and the difference is 3. Or, you just simply add 5. I know, add 3. No, diba? First element is 5. So, plus 3, of course, 8. Plus 3, that's 11. Plus 3, that's 14. Plus 3, that's 17. So, that's the first element of this sequence. Another example. Example 8. Find a formula for the nth term of an arithmetic sequence in which the common difference is 5 and the first term is 3. So, atong task karon, we're going to find a general term whose difference is 5 and the first term is 3. So, again, use the formula. Then, given ang um, first term which is 3 and the d is 5, Substitute, a n is equal to 3 plus n minus 1 times 5. Simplify, so a n is equal to 3, 5 times n, 5 n, 5 times 1, negative 5. Then simplify this one, 3 minus 5, minus 2. 
So, we have here the general term, a n is equal to 5 times n minus 2. So, this is our answer. No? This is the general term of an arithmetic sequence whose difference is 5 and the first term is 3. And that is true. No? If we're going to replace this one by 1, kanya to ng ilisan of 1, 5 times 1 is 5 minus 2, that's 3. So, that's the first term. This is correct. Okay, so that's the answer of the example 8. Next, to find the sum of an arithmetic sequence, sample given na tanan ang mga arithmetic sequence, and we are asked to find the sum of an arithmetic sequence, so we're going to use this formula. So, S sub N, the sum of an arithmetic sequence is equal to N, times a1, the first term, plus the final term, a n over 2. Or, pwede rapod ka ni. Depende on say given. Here, if given ang first term and the final term, so simply use this formula. Kani, if given ang d and the other um, notation or other elements, so pwede pod ka ni. So, depende, it's either of the two na inyong gamiton to find the sum of an arithmetic series or sequence. So, let us example. Find the sum of the first 100 terms of an arithmetic sequence. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and so on. First 100 terms. So, tama sa 100. Pangitawan ang yung sum, ang yung total. So, we're going to use the formula, this one n times a plus a sub 1 plus a n over 2. So, we have here our n is 100. Kaya tama nandras 100. First 100. So, n substitute 100 times the first term which is 1 plus the last term which is 100 over 2. So, 100 times 50.5 kaya 101 divide to 50.5 times 100. So, the answer is 5050. That is the total or the sum of the first 100 terms of the arithmetic sequence 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, taman sa 100. Kung medyo diskumpiado kan, hala kalingawi ug add 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6. If you want to verify that the answer is really 5050. Okay? Next. Okay, so this is your next assignment. Drill 3. So we have here how many numbers? 6 numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so this is our last topic for the sequences. All about the geometric sequence. So here, uh, here we're going to review also the arithmetic sequence. So we'll have another comparison between geometric sequences and the arithmetic sequence. So, we're going to identify if the given sequence is geometric ba or arithmetic. So, we have here a definition. A sequence is a set of numbers called terms arranged in some particular order. So, we have two sequences. We have the first one, arithmetic sequence. So, we know that it is a sequence with the difference between two consecutive terms constant. And the difference is called the common difference, katong letter D. Now, our topic is the geometric sequence. It is a sequence with a common ratio R. It is also called as geometric progression. So, ang kalainan, si arithmetic na siya common difference. No? So, ang ilang series, ang each term na siya difference, no? common sa next term. Whereas, si geometric sequence... It is a sequence with a common ratio R, no? So, each term is multiplied by a common ratio R. And a geometric sequence is also called geometric progression. So, to understand further, so we'll have here, no, our examples. Find the common ratio of the following sequences. Number one, 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, and so on and so forth. Look at each term. The first term is 1. Second term is 2, 4, 8, 16. What have you noticed? 
This is a geometric sequence. This is a geometric sequence. It has a common ratio R. Look at each term. The first term is 1. So the common ratio is 2. This is multiplied by 2. So muna ang next term is 2. Kaning second term, tuman na, multiplied by 2, munang 4. Another one, multiplied by 2, ang 4, munang 8. Multiplied by 2, munang 16. So, of course, expected the next term will be 32, and so on. No? Each term is multiplied by the common ratio, R. So, muna siya ang difference sa arithmetic and geometric. Si geometric na siya common ratio, R. Take note, no? Okay, example 2. 27, 9, 3, 1, 1 third. And so on. So the common ratio R, R here is 1 third. Okay, look at each term. Can it 27 multiplied by 1 third, munang 9. 9 multiplied by 1 third, munang 3. 3 multiplied by 1 third, munang 1. And so on and so forth. Okay, number 3. 3, 6, 12, 24, 48. What is the common ratio here? Okay, 2, no? Okay, si 3 multiplied sa 2 mo lang 6. 6 multiplied sa 2 mo lang 12. 12 multiplied sa 2 mo 24 and so on. Okay, number 4. 1 half, negative 1 sequence. 1 half, negative 1, 2, negative 4, 8. Okay, so the common ratio R is negative 2. So, this is multiplied by negative 2, no? Each term multiplied by negative 2. Okay? Next, find the next term in each of the previous sequence. 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. So, what So, the next term will be 32. Katong number 2, 27 sequence, 27, 9, 3, 1, 1 third. Ang next niya is... 1 over 9. Okay. We know ayang common ratio ani is 1 third. So, multiply ni 1 third ng 1 over 9. Number 3, the next term of the previous sequence, 3, 6, 12, 2, 4, 24, 48. So, ang common ratio niya ani, di ba, is 2. So, multiply ni 2, meaning 96 ang next term. So, let's play. We're going to guess the sequence. So, so, I give you a sequence and you guess what type of this, kung arithmetic ba, geometric, or neither, you know, dili, sa, dili siya, arithmetic, dili po siya, geometric. Look at number 1, 3, 8, 13, 18, 23. Is it arithmetic or geometric? Kung arithmetic, inyong timanan na siya common difference, 3, 8, 13. 3 og 8. Pili ang, siya difference? Pili ang difference? 5. 8 og 13. Na difference? 5 gihapon. 13 og 18. Okay, common. So, nasa common difference. So, since there is a common difference, this is an arithmetic sequence. Di man po na siya common ratio. E kung common ratio, you're going to determine a number. Kung multiply each term, that will be the next number. So, number one is an arithmetic sequence. The common difference is 5. How about number 2? 1, sequence 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. Evaluate. Is there a common difference or a common ratio? 1 of 2, 2 of 4, 4 of 8. 1, 2, and difference is 1. 2, 4, difference is 2. So, the common difference. How about common ratio? B, 1 of 2. Kani multiply of 2, 2 ang next. Kani multiply of 2, 4. 4 times 2, 8. So, there is a common ratio nga 2. Therefore, 2 is a geometric sequence. Number 3, 4, 5, and 6 will be your Task, no? This is your performance task. Uh, you're going to identify number 3, 4, 5, and 6 kung arithmetic ba, geometric, or neither. Anyway, the answer is in the next slide here. So, number 3 is geometric. Geometric.
24, 12, okay. So, there is a common ratio which is 1 half. Number 4 is, is an arithmetic. 55, 51, 47, and so on. Number 5. Number 5 is neither. No? Dili siya arithmetic, dili po siya geometric. Why? Two, the given sequence 2, 5, 10, 17. Let us evaluate first. Nan gi siya arithmetic sequence. 2 and 5, yung difference is 3. 5 and 10, yung difference is 5. 10 and 17, yung difference is 7. So, what is like common difference? So, it, it is very obvious that it is not an arithmetic. How about geometric? Is there a common ratio? Diba wala. So, 2, 5, wala. Wala siya common ratio. So, it's a neither. Not arithmetic nor geometric. The same also with number 6. Okay. So, this is an important so you have here an important formula to remember for arithmetic formula we have here a sub n is equal to a1 plus n minus 1 times d where a n is the n term of course a1 is the first term and d is the common difference for the geometric formula a n is equal to a1 first term times r the common ratio raised to the power of n minus 1. And to get the r, the common ratio, you just simply divide the a n over a n minus 1. a n is the n term, a1 is the first term, and r is the common ratio. So, please uh, take note of this. r is equal to a n over a n minus 1. So, let us go back to our example. For to determine the common ratio. Let us have number 2. The sequence 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. To determine the ratio, the R, the common ratio, you just simply divide the second term and the first term. 2 divide 1 is 2. How about this one? The, next, the third term and the second term. 4 divide 2 is 2. How about this one? The fourth and the third. 8 divide 4. That is 2. So the common ratio R is 2. So that's how to get R. You just simply divide A n over A n minus 1. Okay? Take note of that. Okay, let us have example 4. Find the tenth element of geometric sequence for which first element is 5 over 2 and the second element is negative 5. So pakitaw na to ang tenth element ang ika na pulo ng element no sa geometric sequence given ang first 5 over 2 and the second negative 5 so let us consider a sub 10 be the tenth element of the geometric sequence of the sequence 5 over 2 negative 5 and so on taman sa a sub 10 so let us find first r so how to find r a n Okay, let us consider the second element over a n minus 1. So, 2 minus 1 mo 1. So, the second over the first element. So, negative 5 divide 5 over 2. That's negative 2. No? Cancel, cancel. Nang nabibili, negative 2. So, we have here our r is negative 2. So, to find the tenth element, use the geometric formula, geometric sequence, a sub 10 is equal to A1 times R to the power of N minus 1. A sub 10 is equal to, substitute, first element is 5 over 2, times ang R is negative 2, raised to the power ang N, of course, 10. N many, ang N there is 10, so of course, this is 10. 10 minus 1, that's 9. Simplify, negative 2 to the power of 9, times 5, divide 2, the answer is negative 1,280. So, the 10th element of this geometric sequence is negative 1,280. Okay. Any question? Okay. None so far. So, let us continue. Another example. Insert 
two geometric sequence or geometric means between 100 and 64. So given ang duha ka sequence geometric, we will insert two geometric means between 1000 and 64. So consider the sequence 1000, then question mark ang duha, kay papangita sa ato, insert two geometric means. 1,064. We're going to find the second term and the third term. So, we know our N will be 4. No? Okay, missing ang duha nga itong baitaon. Then, the first term is 1,000 and the fourth term is 64. We're going to find the second and the third term. So, using the formula, substitute na to, A sub 4 is equal to A1 R times N minus 1. A sub 4, the fourth term is given. So, 64, di ba? Is equal to, ang A1 is 1,000. Then, ang R is unknown. Pangitaan pa na to. Then, raised to the power 4 minus 1. Anong form ni? Kaya form ni. Fourth term is 64. Then, copy, copy. Then, R minus, 4 minus 1, that's 3. So, since our task is to find R, so, divide both sides by 1,000. 1,000, 1,000. So, R cube, R cube na nabilin, is equal to 64 over 1,000. Reduce the lowest term, that's 8 over 125. And since this is R cube, and our task is to find R, so we get the cube root of 8 over 125. And the cube root of 8 over 125 is 2 over 5. So, R is 2 over 5. So, this is our common ratio R. So, we will multiply. The first term is 1,000. So, the second term will be... So, multiply na to 2 over 5. So, 1,000 times 2. 2,000. Divide 5. So, the second term will be 4. Next, the third term. Kanina pong 400, mo to multiply of 2, 5. 2 over 5. So, 2 times 400 is 800. Divide 5. Ang third term will be 160. So, to get the 64, multiply na mo na. 2 times 160. Then, divide 5 mo ng 64. So, we have now the geometric sequence. The unknown, the second, and the third term is 400 and 160. So, we have now the geometric sequence, 1,000, 400, 160, and 64. Okay? So, some problems, sample problems. Find the first four terms and state whether the sequence is arithmetic, geometric, or neither. Okay, a n is equal to 3 n plus 2. Find the first four terms. Okay, for number 2, number 3. Okay, let us have another solution. For number 1, an is equal to 3n plus 2. To find the first 4 terms in a row, replace n with 1, then 2, then 3, and 4. So, kung replace na ito na sa 1, 3 times 1, 3 plus 2 mo ng 5. Next, replace by 2 ang n. So, 3 times 2, 6 plus 2 mo ng 8. Next, replace n by 3. So, 3 times 3, pila, 9 plus 2, 11. Next, will be replaced by 4. So, 3 times 4, that's 12 plus 2, 14. So, we have now the sequence 5, 8, 11, 14. So, is there a common difference? 5, 8, 11. Okay, there is a common difference which is 3. Therefore, the sequence is arithmetic. How about the next second? A n is equal to n squared plus 1. Is this geometric or arithmetic or neither? So, find the first four terms. Okay, the same. Replace n from 1 to 4. So, una sa, ta sa 1. So, one, ta, 1 squared is 1 plus 1 manang 2. Next, replace n by 2. So, 2 squared 4 plus 1 manang 5. Next, replace n by 3. So, 3 squared is 9 plus 1 manang 10. Next, replace n by 4. So, 4 times 2, 16 plus 1 manang 17. Okay, evaluate. 2, 5, 10, 17. 
May common difference? Wala. May common ratio? Common difference meaning pareha sila o difference din eh. Wala man. Tanapod ang common ratio. Ang sige multiply sa 2 nga may munang 5. Wala. Ang sabi mo yung multiply sa 5. Nga dapat pareha po lang yung multiply din eh. Wala man. So not geometric also. Therefore the sequence is neither. Dili siya arithmetic, dili po siya geometric. Okay, how about number 3? Given a sub n is equal to 3 times 2 to the power of n. Let us find first the first four terms. The same solution, so number 1 and 2, replace n by from 1 to 4. Okay, una sa tasa 1, so 3 times 2 to the power of 1. 2 to the power of 1 is 2 times 3, pila man, 6, muna siya. Next, replace n by 2. So, 2 squared is 4 times 3, munang 12. Next, replace n by 3. So, 2 to the power of 3 is 8 times 3, munang 24. Next, replace n by 4. So, 2 to the power of 4 is 16 times 3, munang 48. Okay, evaluate. 6, 12, 24, 48. So, there is a common ratio, di ba? So, pagkawa sa R, divide the second and the first. 12 divide 6, 2. Another try. Divide the third and the second. 24 divide 12, 2. O parihara. Another try. Divide the fourth and the third element. 48 divide 12, still 2. So, there is a common ratio which is 2. Or each term is multiplied by 2. 6 times 2, 12. 12 times 2, 24. 24 times 2, 48. So, there is a common ratio, daily difference. Therefore, this is a geometric sequence. Next, find a formula for its sequence 2, 5, 8, 11, 14. So, B, evaluate na common difference. So, it is arithmetic. So, simplify. Muna yung kagay na example. Find the general formula. So, a n, ang yung difference. First term is 2. Plus n minus 1. The difference is 3. So, simplify. So, we have here. A n. Copy ang 2. So, wala pa na. Dito na niya pag-answer. So, 3 times n, 3 n. Then, 3 times 1, negative 3. So, negative 3 plus, so munang negative 1. So, this is the answer. The general term is a n is equal to 3n minus 1. Next, find the indicated, indicated term of the sequence. Whose sequence is arithmetic? Now, with the first term is 5 and the seventh term is 29. Find the 53rd term. So, use the formula. So, 29, T7. So, T7 is 29. Is equal to the first term plus anong 6 many because 7 minus 1 is 6 times D. Takabalo pila ang D. So, pangitawan saan na to ang D. So, 29. Transpose ang 5 munang 24. Copy ang 6D. Then, to get D, divide 6 both sides. 24 divided 6, D is 4. So, to find now that 53rd term or that T53, go back to formula, T53 is equal to the first term which is 5 plus 52. Anong 52 man 53 minus 1, manong 52. Times the D which is 4. So, 52 times 4 plus 5, the answer is 213. So, T53 is 213. That's for arithmetic sequence. Example. How to find the sum of a finite geometric series? So, this is the formula. No? Kwaon ang total sa geometric series? So, S sub n is equal to a1, which is the first term, times 1 minus r to the power of n, divided by 1 minus r. So, to find the sum of finite geometric series, you need to know three things. The first term, how many terms to add, and the common ratio. 
Mali na. First term, pila ka terms ang i-add, and the common ratio. So, we have here the geometric series, the expression form by adding the terms of a geometric sequence. So, to find the sum, we have here the formula. Okay, then of course, use this formula. S n is the sum of the first n terms. Substitute n, a1, and r values to find the sum. So, we'll have the example. Find the sum of the first 10 terms of the geometric series. 9, 36, 144, 576, and so on. Napulo na siya kabok. Okay, continue na ah. So, to find the sum, use the formula Sn is equal to A1 times 1 plus R to the power of N divided by 1 minus R. Substitute, ang first term is 9, then copy, ang R is 4. Ano na kwa? Okay, divide the second and the first. 36 divide 9. Di ba 4? Or this is multiplied by 4 minus 36. Divide, multiplied by 4 minus 144. So, ang common ratio is 4. Then, this is um, 10, no? To the power of 10 because the first 10 terms. Divide by 1 minus R1 minus 4. Okay. Next, copy ang 9. Then, answer this one. Use your calculator. 4 to the power of 10. Then, 1 minus the result of this is negative this one. 1048575 divided by 1 minus 4 is negative 3. So, divide first this one, I have multiply sa 9. So, that's the answer. So, the total or the sum of the first 10 terms of this geometric sequence or series is 3,145,725. Another example, find the sum of the first 10 terms of the geometric series. 4, 12, plus 12, plus 36, plus 108, plus, and so on. Okay. So, the common ratio here is 3. No? Multiplied by 3, more than 12. Multiplied by 3, more than 36. Multiplied by 3, more than 108. Multiplied by 3, more than next term. May tawag na to ang total sa first 10 terms. The same formula. A1, the first term is 4. 1 minus ang R. Matong yun kagina, the common ratio is 3, then ang n is 10, divided by 1 minus 3. Simplify, 3 to the power of 10, what is the result? Will be subtracted from 1, so 1 minus the result of this, which is negative 59,048. And 1 minus is negative 2. Divide first, this one, I have multiplied sa 4. So the answer is 118,000. 96. The total of the first 10 terms of the geometric series 4, 12, 36, 108, and so on. Taman sa 10 terms. Okay. Then, to get the geometric mean, the geometric mean between two numbers is the square root of the product of the two numbers. Suppose we have your geometric mean 20 and 45. So, to get the geometric mean, you just simply multiply 20 times 45. That is 900. And get the square root. The answer is 30. Ano siya simple. That's how to get the geometric mean. Okay, and this will be your assignment, last assignment for this topic. Drill number 4. So, we have here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 items. Okay, so this will be posted in another sheet of paper so that you can easily turn in into our Google Classroom. And that's the end for the sequences and the series. So thank you and God bless everyone. Bye-bye.